The crude oil we drill for the world over is for the most part stored in tiny pores within the rock up to about 3 miles deep in the earth's huge dense crust. At such depths, the oil there is fairly high pressure. When it is removed, other liquids, usually water, move in to take its place, equalizing the pressure in the process. Sometimes oil extractors pump water into the one side of the oil field to push oil towards the well on the other side and the water replaces the oil accordingly. In cases where the other liquids don't move in, such as the case of the North Sea of the Netherlands, the porous rock layer that harbored the oil originally can collapse after extraction, causing slight amounts of land settling known as land subsidence. In the rock, clear surfaces above about typically no more than a few tenths of an inch per year. Here in the US, land subsidence uh, induced by the large volume of extraction of underground resources including oil and gas is more common than most people realize, according to the US Geological Survey, a government agency which collects, monitors, analyzes and provides scientific understanding about natural resource conditions, issues and problems. Flat coastal plains and wetlands near sea level are most at risk from this potential side effect. Moving on, ONGC has notified oil and gas discoveries in its NELP blocks. The company has reported oil find in its pre-NELP on land block in the Kaveri Basin and the gas discovery in its shallow offshore block in the Krishna Godavari Basin. In a statement issued here on Friday, the company said that the two discoveries have been notified to the Directorate of General of Hydrocarbon after the previous board meeting held on September the 22nd. The well North Covil Kalapal-1 and the L2PL block Kauri Basin on land flowed oil at the rate of 300 barrels per day. The well has been put on production, the company said. This is a new prospect discovery in a separate structural culmination developed in the false block north of the Covil Kalapal field in the Tanjavur district, it said. The discovery of oil has established prospectivity in the area between Kovil Kalapal and the Adijapuram in the Nagapatinam sub-basin and has opened up a large area for further exploration and appraisal in this part of the block, the company added. Also making news to the waves desk today is an exploration company that is conducting seismic examinations in the Dayton region to search for possible oil and natural gas deposits, although a state geologist said Western Ohio hasn't been productive for efforts. Workers from West Bay Exploration Company are sending sound waves into the ground to gather images of the underground along public right-of-ways in Montgomery and the Preble counties. The company has also targeted areas in Miami, Greene and Clark counties to see whether further examinations and ultimately drilling would be worthwhile, said Gary Gottstock, a vice president in the company's headquarters in Traverse City, Michigan. You can also view the news that we have covered previously by logging on to www.waves.moreinvestv.com. Thank you for watching.